Hello from SeaWorld Orlando. Tonight I'm at a media preview of Electric Ocean. It's like a summer overlay that they have extra entertainment, um, some different food options, and I think there's a new show. So I'm gonna go around tonight. It was a little rainy earlier, hence rain jacket situation and such. I'm excited to be here. I love this park. It's really beautiful. They have awesome landscaping. I love to see the animal things. I love what they do for animals and uh, their conservation efforts and their rescue efforts. So I'm excited to be here tonight and play. So we just got in the park and this is one of their food booths that they kind of transform for the different events. And I bet these are going to be all glowy and fun later when it's dark. But here's some of that stuff that I got to see earlier. They don't have um, vegan options for this in particular. Uh, I asked, but there are some in the park. So there is actually a beignet booth at this, and there's banana, foster, Nutella, and dolce de leche. Our first thing is gonna be the orca show that we have about 20 minutes until that starts. So we're gonna just take a peek at Sesame Street Land because it's so cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, I guess he's unavailable. This area is so cute, and I think Big Bird does come here. It is much less busy in this area than it was when we were here last time. We saw the parade, it was incredible, um, and it did get pretty full in this area, so now we're able to like kind of see more of the details and stuff. They did such a nice job with this, it's so cute. Look at this, made out of recycled things. This looks really cool. I'm so winded from walking up this hill to the sea lion thing. Uh, I did not know that this species is called a pinniped. That type of mammal, so interesting. I love this bridge that walks through the center of the park on the water. They're doing some construction on the area where the festivals and events here typically have food booths and merchandise and stuff, so I'm very excited to see what they're doing. I just learned that dolphins sleep while they're swimming and they're like put half of their brain to sleep so they can keep up with everybody and still stay alert and uh, so they'll be like sleeping with one eye open and uh, then they, they switch. This is the first time I've ever seen a light up bubble sword that is sparkly and I'm sure like changes colors. Why, I don't know why I don't own this. I love uh, this. How cute is this? I love it. Jim loves Jelly Belly. That's his favorite. Oh my gosh, look at these chandeliers. Oh wow. I actually wanted to show this because it's kind of fun. I just love like theme design and theme parks and whimsical architecture and stuff. This is what SeaWorld is like. If you haven't been here, they have a lot of really cute stuff. I just remembered when we were walking by Atlantis, which is one of my favorite rides here. It's called Journey to Atlantis. But in the store at the exit of that, there is a really cool aquarium that we spent a lot of time at. It's just like a small aquarium that's really neat. It's kind of like tucked away and hidden. So we're going to go see if it's still here. Okay, here it is. It's a whole room where you're surrounded. Jim said, look at this giant clam. Look at how the, it moves. It's so amazing. This is like live coral. This is all in this room still. They just have these really nice setups. Whoa. <laughs> oh, it's a shark. I love this Antarctica area of the park. It's pretty neat. I love what they did. Okay, so the ride part was closed, but so it took us right in to see the penguins. And of course, it's really cold in here, but it's also really dark. If I remember correctly, 
the lighting in here may or may not replicate what they would naturally need to have. Is it Vecna? Vecna is here. What is your Vecna song? Do you have a song you would play? I haven't figured it out yet. Um, maybe a Don't Stop Me Now. Wait, what song is it? Don't Stop Me Now. <laughs> Cause I'm having a good time, having, having a, a good, good time. time. I'm super silent. You have been obsessed with that song lately. Yeah. I've it's been trying to one. think of what my song would be. What would you guys play? This is from Stranger Things, if you don't know, which is, I would not be watching this season because it's like too scary and too violent, but I was already invested. Okay, end of the day, and the fireworks are starting soon. So we got here around five, and we got to actually get a couple of shows in back to back which was awesome so there is a point in the night where a lot of the stuff starts to close because the fireworks show is going to happen and even a lot of the dining venues have closed so for sure if you want to have the full day you want to make sure to get all the rides and attractions in earlier in the day and i would eat around dinner time not so late like we are tonight Okay, so heading out and I have some thoughts. The Ignite 360 show, it's a nighttime spectacular, so it does have some fireworks, but it is more of a spectacular. I loved it. It is what I personally really like to see in a nighttime show. It had fireworks, uh, lasers, colored water fountains, fire, just like a really great spectacle and the way that it was synced with the music was awesome it kind of had like a little uplifting song so um, I just had that little clip here for you that was really great um, a couple of tips they close the bridge to get to that area of the park um, pretty early and there used to be another walkway that you could use to get there and so both of those are closed and so we had to walk um, basically around the entire park to get there and then everybody that watches from that area, which is like the prime viewing area, has to leave and walk really far around the whole park to leave. So just be aware if it's end of the night and you're tired, that's what's coming. Electric Ocean is really fun. I love what they did with the nighttime show. They had some cute little additions, um, just like some nice lighting and some fun little extras here and there. However, I wouldn't come for the for just the nighttime. I really, if you want to get the most out of your ticket and the most out of your day at SeaWorld, I would come early when it opens, get all the rides in, get all the stuff in, make sure you eat dinner before it gets too late because it is challenging to find food. Um, even the event food was, those had closed pretty early. Um, so yeah, there's just like, a part of the park's under construction right now, so it's just a little different. I love SeaWorld. I love seeing the animal shows. Um, I love the Key West area of the park. There's like a really cool dolphin, um, you know, habitat. Um, and there's just a lot to do here. I think the roller coasters are so fun for people that love thrill, thrill rides and they have quite a few now. Um, the shows are great for the families, you know, um, for everyone, everyone to go see it. The whole party can go watch the different shows. The up close encounters are great and they have quite a few different aquariums and things uh, to learn and see animals. Love that. And now they have the Sesame Street area. So I really feel like this park has grown and evolved to be, this is getting long. This is a really long outro. Um, but this park has evolved to really kind of have something for everyone in your party now. And uh, I love it. So you can actually have like a really wonderful full day here at night for this there was kind of like a gap a lot of the things had to close because of the fireworks and they closed quite a bit before the fireworks so that's kind of what happened tonight so we're gonna head out now i love being here sea world is beautiful and i really like the ignite 360 show you can watch it from anywhere in the park so if you wanted to have a little more convenient exit you can absolutely just see the fireworks part and um, part of what's on the lagoon from many more places than 
the theater that has the, the prime viewing. Those are my tips. That's my take. Had an awesome day. We are tired and hungry, so we're gonna head out. <laughs> but that's Electric Ocean, and thanks for watching. Have a magical day.